everybody. It's your boy Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm back with another fragrance review. And it is none other from a house that has been growing on me tremendously. Man, this house is putting out banger after banger after banger after banger. Shout out to Mike over at um, Making Sense, man. Um, this Man, this dude makes quality, quality fragrances, man. You know, um, great oils, great presentation, great atomizer. He don't cut corners, man. I can truly say... Um, your money is well spent with um over at Mike at making sense. Um, and this is a first impression. This is a first impression. I just got this thing out the mail. But before we hop into that, I need y'all to help your boy out. Help me out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sitting at 167 currently at this video, and uh, we on the road to 200. We on the road to 200, man. And um, I'm like what 30, like 33 um subscribers short. A 200 so you can like share comment and subscribe to this channel as you know it's gonna help my um algorithm out and allows me to pop up in your youtube um home page and to just keep it all the way player you know what i'm saying ain't nothing wrong with a little supplement of income on the side you figure deal me um you know but we're gonna hop right into it um it's none other than uh, from the house of making sense. It's none other than a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, 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 five mix, a five mixer. Yeah, this five in this one little bottle. This is a thirty ml. It's five fragrances, well blended, and it's none other than short circuit, short circuit from the house of making sense. And when I tell you, whoo, when I tell you, let me hear my. Let me hit my uh, let me hit my coffee right quick. Yeah, I got a little whipped cream on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, let me tell you the truth. This right here, this right here, bro. Man, it is a fit. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link to um this fragrance in the description. But um I'm I'm on the website and I'm reading. Um, it says all five way remix with interpretations of Dior Sauvage Elixir, Bulgari Tiger, YSL Tuxedo, um, MFK Mason Freight Kurt, um, Baccarat Rouge 540, Parfums de Mali Herod Extract Concentration. So the accords in this um the accords in this fragrance is a fresh, spicy, woody, warmy wood. Fresh, spicy, woody, warm, spicy, aromatic, lavender, soft, spicy, cinnamon, amber, powdery, balsamic, citrus, tobacco, vanilla, and sweet. Man, when I tell you, like, bro, this fragrance right here, bro, when I tell you this joint is definitely a crowd pleaser. When I tell you it's a crowd banger, man, I'm waiting on my wife to get home right now so she can walk in the house and be like, what's that? I'm a man, atomizer, like I say, amazing atomizer. Man, the oil concentrated, this junk is epic, man. Bro, look at that oil concentrate. Bro, look how boy, I just put on lotion. I'm telling you, man, this stuff is amazing, man. This stuff is amazing. So let's get into the note breakdown. As you can um imagine, the note breakdown in this is kind of lengthy because of uh it's a five-way blend. So the top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg. Cardamom, grapefruit, pepperwood, jasmine, saffron, orange, and margot. So I can smell right off the bat that nutmeg and that cinnamon. And you pick up on the um the grapefruit as well. The citrus of that grapefruit. Um I smell a little bit of the jasmine. Um you get a um the orange you can pick up on as well. I can smell the lavender and the ginger in the um, mid notes. You got that tobacco, um, cause it uh, it gives me it gives me. I never smell YSL tuxedo, but I do have um, uh, Rajas mustachio, and they and a lot of people have said that they smell real similar. I can pick up the Rajas mustachio vibe in this, even though that's not in this. Um, but um, many people have said that. Um, YSL tuxedo and raw hot mustachio is like ninety percent. So I can pick, I can see where that's going with that. Man, this stuff is um, 
Oh my goodness, bro. I definitely pick up on the Alexa. I definitely pick up on the Savaz Alexa and that sweetness of that 540. Also, too, I have a small decant um um of that um Herod um uh, from um Pop from the Molly. And I can pick up on that um that note as well in this. Like I said, man, the mid notes on this is lavender, ginger, woods, tobacco leaf, lavender, incense, abacris. Um, and the base notes are licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, Haitian vetiver, ambrose, vanilla, cedar, ISOE super, um, copper, musk, fur resin, green accords, and black pepper. And I can pick up on it as well because you can pick up on the, the, the spiciness of that pepper and the IO, the ISOE supers kind of, um, that always remind me of um of a savage type vibe. You definitely pick up on that. Like I say, man, this um this fragrance is definitely a crowd pleaser. Definitely a crowd pleaser. Um, this 30 ml right here, I paid um thirty six dollars for it, including shipping and tax. Um, so like, bro, you, you this is easily I can tell by the oil concentrate, bro. This easily easily gonna be an eight hour fragrance. An eight hour fragrance. I think because uh, it's a five-way mix. I think it. This is a four-season. Um, it's a four-season fragrance. You might have to dial back your um your your sprays in the summertime due to the fact that this stuff punch. This stuff punch, man. Um, it's not in the sense of like overbearing, but um, in the sense of this, it's it's a hot oil concentrate. Then it's um fragrances that have been known to have um longevity wise these fragrance all these fragrance um that's blended in this um five way none of them in my personal opinion have um um longevity issues like i said i never smelled ysl tuxedo but even from the, the amounts of videos that i have seen um they they don't have it doesn't have freight um longevity issues um, like I said, this is just a first impression, but on my first impression, if I had to rate this, um, I would easily give this an eight. And the only reason why I don't want to give it a 10, because I ain't spending no time with it, but, um, it's definitely a must have, definitely a must have. If you like sweet, if you like sweetness with a little bit of citrusness, with a little bit of citrusy vibe to it, um, and a kind of some woody sandalwood, um, aspects of it with a little bit of peppery um twang to it this is uh right up your alley this is right up your alley um i think um it's worth a try even if you get um a 17 ml for like 20 bucks because um it's it's different it's different in the sense of nobody's trying um mixes like this like i say it has a, a, the sweetness to it and most people that's not into fragrances in the sense of like collectors or um, have large amounts of fragrances, um, they don't try indie houses or they love um, sweet smelling fragrances because it catches the nose, it catches the attention. Like, damn, what's that? That smells sweet. But it's not sweet as like an apple pie. Think more so um, Paco Rabanne 1 million, things of that nature. Type sweet because that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA is very um is very sweet and uh, women women love that Baccarat Rouge man um like I said if I had to get this uh, uh, uh on a scale of one to ten I give it an eight just because I haven't spent a lot of time with it but I can tell that I'm gonna enjoy this fragrance man like I said it's a first impression I think that um you should pick it up, man. You should really pick it up. Um, try to expand your palate. You know what I mean? Your taste in um, fragrances and see where it take you, man. Um, shout out to Mike over at um, Making Sense. Um, I'm going to link the description to um, Short Circuit. The, the, the scent is called Short Circuit. I'm going to link it down in the description. Um, thank you all for tuning in to this first impression. Um, as always, like, share, comment and subscribe it's your boy razor ramon and as always until next time instant transmission